Uh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the King County Superior Court. My name is Richard McDermott. I'm the presiding judge, and it's my honor and privilege today um, to, um, to be the introducer uh, of our governor. On January 16, 2013, Jay Inslee became the 23rd governor of the state of Washington. Jay was born uh, on February 9, 1951 in Seattle. He graduated from Ingram High School, the University of Washington, and Willamette School of Law. From 1993 to 1995, he was a congressman for the 4th District outside of Yakima. From 1999 to 2012, he was a congressman in the 1st District here in Metropolitan Seattle. The governor and his wife were high school sweethearts and were married on August 27, 1972. They have three sons. They live in Bainbridge Island. Uh, governor Inslee is an avid basketball player and a member of what he calls the Hoopaholics, a charity group dedicated to the treatment of old guys addicted to basketball who can no longer, <laughs> who can no longer jump. He becomes our governor at a very crucial time in our history. Uh, and I think that's a substantial benefit to all of us. I've known Governor Inslee since the 80s. I can truly tell you that this is a dedicated man who's bright, articulate, hardworking, and it's my honor and privilege to introduce to you the governor of our state. Thank you, Judge. Appreciate it. Well, thank you, uh, Presiding Judge McDermott. That's really a personal delight to see you here. We go way, way back when we were we were uh, uh, struggling in the vineyards of, of the judiciary as lawyers, so it's good to see you and your success here. And it's a privilege to stand before you in the King County Superior Court. Uh, I want to acknowledge first, before we get to make a, a great announcement, to the family of our late just, um, Scott Johnson. And we know he uh, would have served with great distinction. It's a, a tragedy that all of us share that he's unable to do that, he would have filled in after the retirement of my friend Judge Michael Heavey, and I want to tell his family that uh, we'll be thinking of him in the years to come. Uh, today I'm in announcing an appointment. This is one of the more important responsibilities of the governor, and it's one I take very, very seriously. And the reason is, is both because I practiced in superior courts uh, across this state for a couple of decades, so I know the importance of the judicial officer, the incredible power they have, but it's for another reason, which is that having served in, the, in legislative bodies now for a couple of decades, I've come to understand how important the, the independence of the judicial system is. Uh, our democratic system is dependent on an independent, strong, responsive judicial system. And obviously, the judges of the Superior Court are pivotal in that regard. And the longer I am in the legislative bodies, and the more that I understand how our indiv individual liberties are, are protected in its most stalwart method, it's through the court system. So I take this decision very, very seriously. And today, I'm pleased to announce that we are fulfilling a request for the highest caliber in judicial appointments, experienced, intelligent, and trustworthy judges. And we had a large pool of applicants to consider. Uh, Nick Brown, our counsel, did a, a great job casting the net wide. And I tell you, we got some great, great talent of people who are interested in doing this community uh, service. And by the way, one of the most impressive things about this pool of people I interviewed, they were interested in being a judge because they saw it as community service not sort of a powerful position, but they looked at it as a service position. And I was really, really impressed by that of all of the applicants. But today I found someone <clears throat> who has a reputation for being eminently fair but firm, a person who's compassionate but scrupulous, and is an ideal fit for position of Superior Court in King County. I'm very pleased to be diversifying the court this morning by appointing the first person of Middle Eastern descent to a superior court position in Washington State history. It's a great honor to appoint Susan Amini to the King County Superior Court bench. And I'm very excited by that. Mm -hmm. I have a few more words to say. 
Soon to be Judge Amini is a very highly respected person amongst her peers in the legal field. She has 23 years of experience trying cases and has served as a judge pro tem throughout King County since 1994. Experience, I think, is going to really serve her well in this new position. Currently in private practice, um, uh, Susan's extensive courtroom experience includes family law, immigration law, criminal offense, and personal injury work. She's also volunteered her legal services to victims of domestic violence in our state. And we should be proud of our members of the bar who have volunteered so many thousands of hours for folks who need access to justice. She believes very strongly in equal access to justice, regardless of a person's economic status, their educational level, their disability, or their language capabilities. She's worked tirelessly to eliminate barriers that exist within our court system. She knows what it's like to be an immigrant in this community and is uniquely positioned because of this to help solve the challenges that new folks to our community experience. She's a member of the State Bar, the State Trial Lawyers Association, the King County Bar, the Washington Association of Criminal Defense Lawyers, the American Immigration Lawyers Association, and the Middle Eastern Legal Association of Washington, among quite a few other organizations. She served as a trustee for the Overlake Hospital Foundation. She's a commissioner for the City of Bellevue Human Services Commission and is a member of the City of Bellevue Probation Services Advisory Board. She received her JD degree from the University of Maryland School of Law. She also holds a bachelor's degree in political science with a concentration in inter international law from the University of Tehran. I really look forward to her service on the bench. Her son, uh, Representative Cyrus Habib has just done a tremendous job already helping advance a lot of causes in the Washington State Legislature. I don't think it's a, a terrible thing to have a son and mother serving in the legislative and judicial branches. <laughs> it, was not, it was not the reason for the appointment. I want to make sure people understand that. So I look forward to Susan's service on the bench. I know she's going to serve with great honor and integrity. And I hope she'll come up and, uh, and uh, share some of her observations with us. Susan. So Susan is with delight. I'm uh, presenting you with a letter appointing you to Superior Court. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Wow, <laughs> dream come true, I uh, cannot believe it. It's great to be here today. Um, I wanna thank, first of all, Governor Inslee for your trust in me. It is a great honor to have um, your, your faith in me. I know you will um, most likely have many opportunities uh, to fill vacancies on this bench, and I'm truly honored to be the first among them. Mm -hmm. um, you have, as you stated, you have practiced law throughout the state. In so par particularly, your trust and your um, faith in me is is important to me. From a lawyer to another lawyer, I also want to uh, thank Governor's General Counsel Nick Brown for having conducted this uh, process of appointment process with um, fairness transparency and respect. I'm clearly thrilled of the outcome, but if it had gone differently for me, it's important to say that I would have felt that I was considered seriously and considered on the merits, and for that I'm thankful. Um, lastly, but not least, I want to thank my family, my husband Mo, my sister Rana, my son Cyrus, who have been standing by me as I've gone through this process of getting to this point, which is my dream. And I'm really proud of, of this moment. And I could not have more loving or supportive family. Thank you, everybody. Thank you to all my friends who showed up there. Congratulations. Wait just a second. 
And I want to thank all of you for being here. I do want to just share with you that being a judge is the coolest thing that um, I've ever done, and I think everybody who's had that opportunity feels exactly the same way. It's an honor and a privilege to be able to serve the citizens. Um, it is, um, to me, something I look forward to doing every single day, and I truly hope and look forward to serving with you, and, um, and I'll get a chance to make the first assignment or two of you. That, that's something I'm looking forward to also. So, um, and so thank you all for being here. Thank the governor again for your hard work on our behalf. We very much appreciate it. There'll be more appointments, I'm sure, throughout the state. Many of us are baby boomers who unfortunately, for one reason or another, are beginning to age out of the system. Not me, Gov, um, <laughs> but, uh, but others. And, uh, and so you'll have that opportunity and um, you've set into place, it seems to me, an extremely good structure to be able to make those future appointments statewide and in this court, and I thank you for that. I wish all of you a very good day. We are at recess. <laughs>